Hi, hey, hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and today we're gonna do a tag. <laughs> So today we are going to do the I dare you book tag. Whatever the hell that means we shall see because I have the questions here and I shall try to answer as best as I can. Yes, I do very very little research uh, when it comes to these tags. I usually just do them on the fly. Um, not always the best idea but there you go so I feel like since this is kind of like a dare tag it says in the name I dare you so yeah <laughs> yeah 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 you know what let's just go into the questions before I ramble on about absolutely nothing question and number one what book has been on your shelf the longest a lot of them i'm not gonna lie i tend to read the newest books first um probably because they've just come in and they are exciting and new as most new things are um but let's see i have had the Divine Comedy for quite a while uh, on my shelves. Um, also, Revolutionary Road, and if you watch any of my unread TBR book pile videos, you will know this because it's always, always the last book on my shelves. Um, what else? What else? Uh, oh, Christopher Polini's books. The well, not arrogant because I I have actually read that. Well, technically, if you're gonna go by which books I've read, I'm just going by the unread ones here. Um, well, the second, third, and fourth book in the Arrogant series, or Inheritance Cycle, if you wanna, you know, be correct about it. Other than that, I think the books that's been on my shelf the longest that's been read are probably Harry Potter yeah so there you go question number two what is your current read your last read and the book you'll read next having a bloody clue <laughs> uh, so uh, I'll, I'll say this though I am currently in the process of trying to finish um, Christopher Pellini's Arrogant series. Yeah. It's going so so. But you know, I have like half the month left, so. Should be fine. Should be fine. Should be fine. Question number three What book did everyone like but you hated? Well, hate is a very big word. Um, let's say dislike. Well, hate. Let's go with hate very very much dislike um so far this year it has to be um everything i never told you by celeste ing i just do not get the hype with it no and it's one of those things that anytime there's a book that's that everybody's like Ooh, this is such a great book. It's so deep. It's so profound. It's so blah 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 blah. Uh, and then you don't really like understand the hype with it, and you go, "Well, am I stupid? Possibly. I shall be right back." Question number four: What book do you keep telling yourself you read, but you probably won't? Revolutionary Road. Honestly, it's just because it kind of might be a book I won't enjoy. Um, yeah. Yeah. I might try to read it one day, but I feel like it's one of those you really need to be <laughs> in the mood for. <laughs> like, really in the mood for. And you know not depressed <laughs> question number five what book are you saving for retirement all of them 
No, I don't think I'm saving any book for anything special or anything, any time period of my life. Uh, I just hope that I'll have a lot of books to read at any given point in my life. I feel like I'm kind of there, but you know, I want more, as you do. <laughs> Question number six, last page. Read it first or wait until the end? Wait until the end? Of course. Who reads it first? That's like cheating. Don't tell me you people who read the last page first. Are you the ones that open the Christmas present early? Not on Christmas Day, but on Christmas Eve. Who opens Christmas presents on Christmas Eve? I know Swedish people do, but you, you know what I mean. Question number seven. Acknowledgement. Waste of paper and ink or interesting aside. Um, so don't always read the acknowledgements, but I would say it's more interesting than like a waste of ink and paper. Um, I think I would rather have it there and choose not to read it rather than not having it there and wanting to read it. Yeah? Question number eight. Which book character would you switch places with? I have not the foggiest. I mean, I feel like there's some, there's always one character here or there that like in the moment or like in a particular scene or something like that you'd be like yes I want this character's life can this be me right now but at the same time with the kind of books I read I uh, no, none none because I would either have like killers on me I will have monsters on me and uh, no I mean, I talk a lot of shit, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure I would get eaten first. In a horror movie, I would die first. Yeah. Or maybe second, because I would push another one in front of me. Question number nine. Do you have a book that reminds you of something specific in your life? Place, time, person. Not really. I don't think so. I feel that I should, but I don't think I do. No? Question number 10. Name a book that you acquired in an interesting way. I don't think so. Uh... No? I mean, I've bought books. I've been given books by friends and family. I've won books in giveaways. But it's been pretty, like, straightforward. I don't think so. No, I'm, I'm gonna have to save this one for like way later or something and go acquire a book in an interesting way and then come back with a story. Question number 11. Have you ever given a book away for a special reason to a special person? Yes, I've given books away. But not like any specific special book or to a, like a special person or anything. It, it's not really been special in any way. Usually the books I give away are either ones I think a person would really like or ones I really enjoyed and want to like spread out and, and make other people read as well so I can talk to them with her, so I can talk about them with someone like I do with you guys. Question number 12. Which book has been with you the most places? Probably Harry Potter books because they have been with me the longest and 
through most moves and stuff. So probably them. Um, yeah. Because there was a time when those were the only books I had. Question number 13. Any required reading you hated in high school that wasn't so bad two years later? I'm not sure I've like reread any required reading of sorts. I mean, I did read Alice in Wonderland in school uh, for like a school assignment, but I did pick that book myself. I didn't have to like choose that book. I could have literally chosen any other book, um, but I chose that one for some reason. I don't know. Um, I wrote a paper on it. And then I got called a cheater because apparently that paper was too good. Um, so yeah, that happened. <laughs> um, I think I enjoyed Alice just as much as I did Den when I reread it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Question number 14, used or brand new? Brand new. Brand new all the way, 100%, million to one. <laughs> um, yeah, I would first and foremost go with brand new. And the only ones like used I would go for would be like if I couldn't see that there was damage to the books or if they like came from a person that read them and then gave them to me because for some reason they didn't want them or whatever. Um, those are the only kind of used books I can appreciate. Yes, I did buy some used books this year, but you can literally not tell that they are used. I'm pretty sure they were actually new. Question number 15. Have you ever read a Dan Brown book? <laughs> yes, I have. Um, I'm pretty sure, but I mean, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure I've read all of Dan books, Dan, Dan's books. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've read all of Dan Brown's books, um, at least the fiction books. I think he might have written like a non-fiction book or so, but yeah, no, none of those, but the fiction books I have read. That's a very weird question. <laughs> Question number 16. Have you ever seen a movie you liked more than the book? Yes. From the top of my head, I might have to say The Notebook um, and also Practical Magic. Um, so with The Notebook, um, well, both of them really. The Notebook, um, I saw the movie first really enjoyed the movie and so I wanted to read the book when I found out it was actually a book yes that can happen too um so I watched it and then I was like yes I want to read the book so um don't know how long after but I picked up the book and I read the book I enjoyed the book but I think I enjoyed the movie even more um probably because Ryan Gosling is quite hot yeah he's a beautiful man <laughs> and when it comes to practical magic i've only read the book that's called practical magic i know there's like like prequels or like companion novels i don't know which order they come in but the one that's called practical magic is the one i've written written no <laughs> read <laughs> i've not written a book but you know um so i've read the one that's called Practical Magic. And as with The Notebook, I saw the movie first and then found out it was actually a book. And so I read the book. Um, the movie though, I've seen so many times. It's like one of my faves. It's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I recommend you go see the, the, see the book. No, see the movie. Go see the movie. It's great. <laughs> Wow, what am I even saying? Um, so I've only read the Practical Magic book, as I've said now, like 300 times. And so I don't know if the other books, like, combined in some way and make the movie that I saw. Because the movie and the book 
are very different. Let's let's leave it at that before I go on a tangent about absolutely nothing and nobody knows what I'm saying, not even me. <laughs> Question number 17. Have you ever read a book that's made you hungry? Cookbooks included. Yeah. Oh yeah. Basically, mention food, mention snacks, drinks, anything, and I'm like, ooh, that sounds great right now. Usually it's like they mention pancakes or pizza or something like that. I'm like, yeah, give me some. Uh, <laughs> that's so weird. Yeah, the, the, the answer is yes. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Question number 18. Who is the person whose book advice you'll always take? I will take just about anyone's advice right up until the point where that advice is not valid anymore. <laughs> so I'll still listen to the advice, but I will not take it. I don't think I have like a specific person so it's such and such. Um, I usually, I'm, I'm so influenced by Bookstagram and Booktube and all that, that anytime I see someone holding up a book, I'm like, yes, I want that book. I don't care what it's about, I want that book. Um, uh, yeah, 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 it's a problem. It's, it's such a big problem. Yeah. Too easily influenced. Question number 20. Is there a book out of your comfort zone that you ended up loving? Ooh. Not that I can think of. I mean, the, the genres I read are so varied and just to begin with that I don't know. I mean, I think it would have to be if I read a super smutty book and then be like, yes, this is my new persona. This is my new thing. Um, I have not done such a thing yet so I cannot say that is true um, but I guess that would have to be it not that I feel uncomfortable in any way reading a smutty book it's just that I just don't get it I I I I don't feel the need yeah I don't feel the need but kudos on anyone who who likes them I don't know. <laughs> um, you do you. And so on and so forth. Wow. Yes. Um, I promise I have not been drunk this whole entire time. I have not had a drink for a very long time, so that would be very strange. Um, for some reason, I'm just all over the place. Well, kinda. I'm always all over the place, let's be honest. Um, yeah, that can happen. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye bye.